Hey Red. Hey Red. It's Misty and Natalie back in my closet. Okay, I'm really excited because in this video we are gonna do rodeo outfits, which yeah. was Natalie's idea. Yeah. <laughs> so rodeo is coming to Houston. Um, I think you said next week. Pick off starts next Thursday. And go Texan Day is next. Friday. Oh, well then, we gotta be ready for Go Texan Day. Rodeo stuff is always fun. It comes to a lot of big cities. Western look you mentioned, did you say that's coming in? Yeah, it's a big trend for spring already. Regardless of our, our Texas rodeo outfits, um, you'll be able to wear these throughout the season. Perfect. All right, let's, you ready to take a look, find yeah. some stuff? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Misty Ann's Closet Reaper, she's getting organized. Misty Ann's Closet Reaper, what a sight for your sore eyes. Natalie got some cool stuff, just like always. <laughs> no, I am so pumped for rodeo this year, because usually I'm scrambling going, what am I going to wear? Mm -hmm. So, but now I know, yeah. and, and I, I really learned something because there were some things that I don't think I thought of as Western before. Right, and I think that happens with a lot of people in their closets, like that they wouldn't put certain things together thinking that they could wear it for rodeo, but I'm going to show you some tricks so that you can. That, and we found a hole in my wardrobe that I noted too, so right. all good. Okay, so what do we have for um, Monday? Okay, so the first thing that I found was this kind of brown uh, faux suede top and you can't probably tell um, from the video but it has some really nice like etching in the fabric and then obviously the bell sleeve is very on trend right now so um, we first have it paired on its own just with um, buttoned as a blouse and with a skinny denim and then we added it with uh, the spun French booty, which obviously brings in um, the Western aspect in addition to kind of like the Western style like etching within the, the blouse. So that's look number one. And I also showed uh, Misty that you can wear it. Well, and I think you've probably worn it this way before, like mm -hmm. we talked about, but you can leave it open and wear it almost like a jacket instead of just a, a blouse and this time I paired it with a blush pink which I think is a really great combination with the chocolate brown again with the like skinny that. jean and I just loved how this kind of like rosy quartz necklace it does also seem like western to me but I think that it kind of adds a little pop and then we'll do it again with the French booty I love that. Those are, I think, my favorite all-time boots ever. Yeah. My mom got me those for Christmas. They're Stuart Wartzman's. Yeah. They've held up wonderfully for years. And yeah. it does. It has that nice rodeo fringy feel. Yeah. And fringe is just like a fun extra texture that you can add in. And it, it does obviously translate pretty Western. So Cool. Yeah. All right. So that's number one. Next, we I love doing a maxi skirt with boots for rodeo season. I think that it's just a fun, easy, comfortable um, option. What we did this time with this one, so what we would do when Misty has this on is layer the skirt, the coral top over, leave it untucked, and just kind of hanging, draping over the skirt and then we she has a super pretty necklace and at first I had it on as a necklace and then Missy had the idea of wearing it as the belt. Which I, I think shamelessly amazing. stole from Jamie Bison. <laughs> <laughs> Which I agree was a great idea and then we wanted to layer also just a denim jacket over the top so that you have an extra layer because it does we were checking out the weather for next week. It's gonna be a little cool. It's gonna be cool and it's just nice to have like an extra layer anyway because if you're wearing this to work or you're wearing it inside any building the air conditioner is sure to be on so mm -hmm. you're always gonna have um, oh and this is one with, with my boots, boots yes okay I gotta take them off <laughs> so I actually wore them today these are I love these they're so comfortable these are Lucasis they're beautiful thank you yeah and I guess that they're like mostly brown with a little bit of black, mm -hmm. little black styling. And yeah, I love these with Max as I'm wearing with a Maxi dress today. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's just like a really put together but also cute and comfortable option. 
Um, well, and since we have the new casual rule at work, this is, I think this is very doable. Yeah. And all of these are just basics. And like, if you just pulled each of these pieces out individually or even all together without the boot, you wouldn't think, oh, rodeo, but the way that we've added in works together, yeah. doing the chain belt, mm -hmm. adding in a cowboy boot, it definitely, um, translates. And I feel like the denim jacket too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Wednesday. Okay, so we, uh, I, this is one of the first pieces that I pulled during this um, styling session. I just love that leopard print is also another big trend. Um, and I love that it has sort of like the prairie skirt um, with the pleating here. So we wanted to do something because it does have this drop waist. Drop waist. We wanted to be able to pair it with a basic that you can wear, that Missy can wear out so that you don't have to worry about tucking in and having, because this, this drop waist, whether you have a pooch or anything there, it's going to make that seem that way. She's being nice. I've gained a couple pounds and my little pooch was making me feel, <laughs> feel self-conscious. So. So, honestly, it doesn't even matter because the pleating would create that look anyway. And so we, it, it helps to have something that's going to drape a little bit. But then when we add the belt on, um, kind of dropped waist as well, it creates kind of a slimmer silhouette, which we obviously want. And this was where we found the hole in my wardrobe, because originally you wanted to pair this with a denim shirt. Right. And we'll have a denim yeah. shirt. So it's on my list. Yeah. Chambray shirts, are, I think, are definitely a basic that you should have in your closet. Um, you can wear them casually you can dress them up you can layer them under other sweaters um so yeah this skirt also would look really great with the chambray shirt but since we don't have that option we can just do it with the uh denim jacket the denim jacket if we wanted to add in just kind of another layer and i realized i was surprised how much i love the way the blue looked i'm still holding my boot mm -hmm. i love the way the blue looked with the um with the leopard print yeah and so for this look, because we, I love this sort of like black leather edged belt. I think you said this from I Mexico. got this in Mexico yeah. years and years ago, like in college. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. It's like an amazing condition. And so I pulled the black booty because I thought this was an important point to make. You may not have cowboy boots or um, super Western looking shoes, but you can do just an ankle boot and then find other Western inspired accessories to kind of pull in the rodeo look. So for this, we did the black edged belt and the black ankle boot. Very cute. And I like that too, because that wasn't, it's just not me just wearing my cowboy boots all week long. Right. So change it got, up. To, got to change it up a little. Mm -hmm. All good. Okay. So for Thursday. Yes. Thursday. So this is another uh, piece that I saw that I was drawn to initially. This is a coated brown chocolate brown jean it's a skinny jean and remind me this is Gen a brand seven. that you love yeah Gen yeah this seven. was one i got on the jean seeking trip with uh joe yeah and they are super flattering so i started with the chocolate brown and then i loved adding in green i think green is such a great color for misty um, and I think that it really pairs well with the, the chocolate brown. And this is kind of more of a dressy casual look because this is cotton and the, this, the wax denim dresses it up a little bit. I loved this necklace. I feel like it's kind of a good way to tie it all together. It has all of the same tones. And again, we're using the denim jacket uh, because it's easy. So that's another piece. If you don't have a denim jacket, you need one. This was the first hole that got discovered when I was being styled for the Mom 2.0 segment last May. And I was like, where's your denim jacket? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I went and got it before I went to that conference and I was so glad I had it. Yeah. Piece. And it's really a classic piece. And if you get, you know, a, a nice medium wash, Mm -hmm. a medium length it's classic and it will last forever i wouldn't go with one that's too trendy um maybe some of them are cropped now or a lighter wash or have rips in them i would probably go with something a little more classic at least with your first one and then we wanted to add in the fringe boot because it looks really good with the brown skinny jean so for my fun like cook-off night or friday night outfit um you went to one of my, my favorite new dress <laughs> that i got in Quero, texas yeah which is actually what initially inspired the 
denim shirt because mm -hmm. we tried oh, that's right. to wear this as a shirt, which sometimes does work. So if you have something similar to this, if you have a higher waisted skirt, you can put it over the top of the dress and it will look like a shirt. It didn't work um, because that skirt that we just um, showed the leopard print one had that drop waist. So it, it didn't really that work and out. I'm filling it out a little more than I usually do. <laughs> so. It's definitely the skirt. I like to make it challenging for Natalie. <laughs> I like a good challenge. <laughs> but I do love this. And I did love the way the blue looked with that skirt. So I definitely will fill that hole. Yeah. And there, mm -hmm. um, like I said, it's a great basic, easy to find. So, um, okay. So yeah, we went with the dress, which I love. I wanted to kind of add something an extra layer just to kind of make it a little more interesting a little more unique than because it's easy just to slip on the denim dress like yeah what are you going to do to make it look more interesting so one thing is um misty pears just a uh, new cami under it so that cause sometimes and it's not only this dress i think sometimes yeah. because this fabric is so soft the buttons tend to come unbuttoned on their own. Yeah. And so just adding the basic camisole will- Makes you feel much more comfortable. Yeah, you don't have to worry <laughs> about looking yeah. down and being exposed. Yeah. Um, so, but I would, I, I love this long line cardigan. This is another item that um, I think you said you've had for a while. But I have had that since my um, mid twenties. <sighs> it, is well, old, it is an old cardigan. It's in really great condition. Mm -hmm. um, and it's good news that they're back in style. There you so, go. Not right. everything well, that goes out of style. Originally, it was a style. dress. I just always wore it as a car, a duster. But okay. yeah, isn't that funny? But yeah, no, I love this thing. And it's express. <laughs> that hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So we paired the chocolate over the denim, which we really like the contrast of. And then um, the belt, actually, that Misty has oh, on, yeah. we love. And you put it around both the out, pieces. yeah. Out, and you can do either, but I felt like if you I bring, love this way. yeah, if you pair it on the outside of both pieces, you're really bringing in your uh, waistline, and it's creating more of um, an hourglass silhouette instead of having kind of the baggier outer layer. If you just belt it on the inside, like I said, you can do either. I think this kind of dresses it up a little bit more to have it paired on the outside. And so what we did, we. You have a couple options here in terms of shoes. You can do it with the fun, chunky heel, with the fringe, or if you want to go a little more casual, it definitely works with the cowboy boot too. And so just kind of like Misty was saying, just depends on how she's feeling that day. Well, if my back's killing me or yeah. um, my, if I'm going to be with Greg, he's 6'4", I like to be a little bit taller so I don't feel like I'm a little girl. Right. Or if you're <laughs> going to be somewhere like that you're going to do a lot of walking, it's probably better to wear a little more comfortable shoe. Oh, and then we also said uh, dark brown tights because my legs are still good white right now. <laughs> so for the earring, we said if I felt like going more casual, uh, we could go with just my little drop smoky quartz. Mm -hmm. And if I felt we felt more dressy, I could go with my, um, what do you call that? Diamond cut silver, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's really it's pretty. And it does have the appearance of like yeah. diamonds and rhinestones, but it, it's not, right? It's just, no, it's it's just silver. The silver. Yeah, yeah. My mom calls that diamond cut. Most of my jewelry came from Jackie, my mother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she so, has great taste. She does have great taste. So, you know, she was my very first video guest oh, back last nice. May. Or June. Um, yep. <laughs> well, I love what you put together. Thank you so much. It was always fun. Always yeah. fun. And this year when Rodeo comes around, I'm ready to go. So, I hope you guys got some great ideas. If you did and you found this helpful, please give us a like. Please subscribe and uh, come. I'm also going to post a link up here of my other videos that I've done with Natalie because I think this is our third together it now. It is, yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody have a great week. Bye.